What's up, everybody? Hey, got another one for y'all. So this one, Family Matters mom, Harriet Winslow, confesses that she did not like Steve Urkel, Jaleel White, because he took over the show. Let's get into it. As a guest on a recent episode of E! True Hollywood Story, Jaleel White and Joe Marie Payton that's a serious picture right there. <laughs> Spoke on the development of Family Matters Dang and the rough man. beginning White had as he was being introduced to the show. When we came on, producers told us the dynamic was going to change. Oh, so you already knew it was going to change. So what you mad about? <laughs> it's like, it's cool. You can be mad. I understand. The shows were going to be about him, and we said, okay. Oh, see, so yeah, I said okay, but I know you ain't want to call a scene, I guess. It was going to be extra and all that. That's why you probably said okay. We weren't happy about it. I think along the way, it got to be a little resentful, but it was an adjustment that we had to make. Today, we have our company hype analyst, Vanessa Fraction. And Ooh, Vanessa. I like that smile. Beautiful smile. Here on the show to talk about Joe Marie Payton's reveal, and we have up, to yeah? ask, was the cast reaction to Jaleel White being added to the show justified? Now, I want to dive straight into this one, Pierre. I'm going to... Like, she likes saying that question. Start with you. <laughs> when you funny. first heard that news break, what was your first reaction? Um, it made sense to me. Um, you know, as actors or entertainers, we all have egos. Uh, I don't care yeah. what they say. You know, some people have bigger egos than others. And yeah. when you bring somebody... When you have an idea of how the show is going to run and you're going to do something, and somebody brings someone new in, and, it, you know, you become second fiddle. I like how they cut that scene. It was like they were looking at each other. And they, and they caught her off guard, too. I hate to say it like that, uh, and they become the star. Yes, you will ruffle some feathers, and it's normal. Um, but, you, hey, if you make it money, I, I don't get off the train. My, my ego can go, come down if I know that I'm... I feel that. I guess I'm with him on that. Making some money with this person. You know, the show kept on going for, what, 10 years, I think it was? Hey... You know, you just got to learn how to adjust with it. You want Why they keep catching with us off? Can't, oh, God. I keep that money because, look, at the end of the day, no disrespect to none of those actors, but none of them really blew up, you know, <laughs> on their own. Dang, that's true, but dang, why you had to say that? So, you know, thank God for Urkel. He kept that show going for 10 years. Yeah. Well, no. don't cast it, but. I mean, he said, thank God for Urkel. <laughs> yeah, I get you, Pierre. You know what I'm saying? Now, Vanessa, I, I want to bring that same question to you. What was your reaction when you first heard that news break? Who says oh, come on now. As a team has to get into it. Task. I apologize, y'all. With editor. Let's look. That, um, you know, their emotions are just. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's bring it back. That, um, you know, their emotions are justified. You know, our emotions are and our feelings are just that. You know, when somebody comes in, you're immediately thinking, like, what's my position going to be? You know, yeah. am I going to be replaced or. Uh, I'm, am I going to make the same money? I get that. I get that. You know, those kinds of things. So <clears throat> when you say it was rocky in the beginning, you know, that, that type of thing um, just happens naturally because as Pierre said, we do have egos. We do, you know, um, uh, change is sometimes different to to get uh, a... Nice smile. ...used to or, to accust or get accustomed to. I did think, though, when I thought about it was that that happens a lot. And though they were in it, when you look in back, it. you know, there's a lot of shows that brought in that next person. You know what I mean? Like the um, the Cosby show brought in Olivia, which was Raven Simone and Pam, which was Erica Alexander or um, Maxine Tom brought in Penny. You know what I'm saying? Which was Janet yeah. Jackson or Full House brought in the twins. Yeah. Or, uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air brought in Little Nicky. <laughs> she said it. Little Nicky. And what happened? They they just took their boy off the show, man. They did Little Nicky wrong, man. You know what I mean? So it's something that we see in television, and so as consumers, we're, we're, we're digging it. But as the actor, I can see where you get a little cheap. Right. I think you, you bring <laughs> up some look. great points there. Now, I want to lay up a few facts that we do know. So um, back in, I believe it was May of 2021, Jaleel White was on an unsung episode, and he and I quote, he says, I was not welcome to the cast at all. They know mm. what it was. I didn't. Dang, I treated them boy like that think anything of it being cast to be on family matters because it was supposed to be the it was supposed to be only a guest spot one and done now we would later <laughs> see done. that he was a guest throughout um a couple of the episodes and it wasn't until the 12th episode that he became a full cast member and i did hear about he was like he said it's supposed to be on one and done 
But they said the fans had liked him on the show that first episode. Now, later this year, and as I mentioned earlier in the same article, the E! True Hollywood story, Jalil would go on to detail a specific story with Jamie Foxworth, who played Judy. He stated that, I remember Jamie saying something to me on set like, well, my mom said I was supposed to get a storyline before you, which kind of goes into that, that pride that you guys kind of touched on. Now, after the show's fourth season, Foxworth carried... Fourth seasons? I didn't even know she was on that four seasons. Seemed like less than that. ...character was written out without any yeah. explanation. According mm. to E! Online executive producer and creative TGIF, Jim Janex said there wasn't a lot to do for her character, while Family Matters co-creator mm. William Beckley said... Look at Vanessa. <laughs> um, dang, didn't have much for her to do. He assumed the studio wanted to cut the budget, which is why she was removed. Come on. The girl wasn't even making that much money, but okay. So there was a lot of facts and a lot of things taking place, as you mentioned, um, Vanessa, you know, behind scenes that as consumers we may not know. But given that information, Pierre, I'll start with you. Do you think the cast reactions to Jaleel White's, you know, them being upset, do you think that was justified um, because of him being added to the show? Well, I mean justified i don't know yeah. I, I understood i understood but they have to understand this also hollywood is a business we only see the outcome the beauty of it the fun the laughter but behind the scenes it's a business if it ain't making money it got to go i don't yeah. care how much we like it so if a character is not making them any money or not really fitting for them and they lose the money they're gonna get rid of them. if a character yeah. is shining they're going to continue you know having yes, that sir. person so Justified, you got to learn the business. You got to understand it's a business first. It's show business, but business is bigger than the word show. Yeah. So, um, I understand anybody came from classical acting class or school acting. It's like uh, Janet Hubert didn't like Will Smith being silly and goofy and all that. Yeah, with the man, I was having fun. Like, come on now, let the boy have fun. Hey, man, if that's what's you know, paying these bills, that's what it is. And sometimes that's actors don't like that. Well trained actors don't like. People who have comedic talent or over-the-top talent performances on their show, they feel like they're overshadowing their, their artistic work as being great actors or good actors. Hey, man, it's a business. If it's a sitcom, people want to laugh, man. They don't care yep. how great of an actor you are. It's who's funny on that show. On a true, show. true. And that's what it was. So I understand they're, they're great, but it's a business. It is a business. And Vanessa, I'll phrase that to you as well. Was the cast reaction to Jaleel White being added to the show justified? Uh, their reaction of being a bit resentful um, for for Sister Judy, the play the girl that played that role. I remember um, when she went up those stairs and she ain't never come back down. <laughs> and the sad thing is, that's true. What happened to her? We all know. <laughs> we all know. We all know about that. You know. So as Pierre said, that is part of the business. You know what I mean? And you could have been. They could have said like, "Hey, we're going to write you in some more stuff." Blah blah blah. But then somebody came in, started shining. Miracle. You know. And so they have to go with that route. They got to go with what's going to make them the most money. And true. you know. Uh, uh, Jaleel White definitely did that. I, you know, I, I wanted an Urkel doll. You know what I mean? <laughs> it sounds so country. <laughs> Urkel doll. <laughs> um, I think as far as justified, as far as how you treat somebody, I think you have to be careful with that. Um, people can all, they may not remember what you said, as Maya Angelou says, but they do remember how you made them feel. And even though you're dealing with your own personal feelings, I think that it's important to uh, be easy to work with and make your work environment something enjoyable. You know what I mean? He's a young black guy too. And as he said, I thought I'm just coming in for one and done. Come to find out, I'm finna make history. You know what I'm saying? History. I come to find out, I'm finna change my life. My life is finna change. And so to be Damn. able to celebrate that person in real time, you know, is something that's really good. And especially for people that have been in the business for um, a much longer time, you just have to feel secure in who you are as an actor and what you may be able to bring to someone else and yeah. possibly be that mentor or possibly just be that person where they were like, you know what? I just remember them always just having a smile on their face. And I know it was tough because their job might have been, they might have been feeling like their job was shaking, but they always yeah. treated me good. So I think it, it's good to sometimes check our feelings and you can fuss and holler at the house, yeah. to the spouse or whoever, but go back into work with a really great attitude and make the whole, you know, where the whole cast can really feel good. I think that's important. Yeah, don't right. bring that Absolutely. bad and I think, to um, this is the first time we've heard from Joe Marie Payton. So I think, you know, as we see this story continue to develop, there may be more people that are, you know, going to come forward and, and say how they Eddie? feel on this topic. But I appreciate Laura? you, Vanessa and Pierre, for calling in to touch on this. You heard from nice us. Man. Now we want to hear from you in the comments below. Were the cast reactions to Jaleel White being added to the show justified? For Comedy Hype News, I'm Symphony Thompson. Bye, Symphony. Put it in the comments. Comments. 
Yeah. For comedy hype news. For comedy hype news. For comedy hype news. Hey, y'all know what to do. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Run them numbers up. Let's do it. Go on.